Let's get right to it. There is no type of sequel for machine learning or data science, or AI for that matter. It's all SQL. If you know the basics of SQL, you can work with any vendor flavor of SQL. For data analysis and machine learning engineers, you'll need to know about a special branch of SQL called DML. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. As a data analyst and machine learning engineer, you'll be using one kind of DML called the SELECT statement. The keyword SELECT in SQL means to read data. Now, for learning purposes, you can't just focus on DML because that's not how the real world works. During an interview, if you say you know SQL and have worked with SQL, then you might be asking a wide variety of questions in order to gauge what you really know. The good news about SQL is its ubiquity. You can learn it anywhere. YouTube has tons of great courses on SQL. The basics of SQL are the same for any platform. In all SQL, there are two branches, DML and DDL. A table is a table. A stored procedure is a stored procedure. And a view is a view. It's the same with every database. So why do I push SQL Server on LogicBot? because SQL Server is Microsoft's database, and Power BI is a Microsoft product. So if you're learning Power BI, then there's a very strong possibility that when you get your first job, you're going to be working with SQL Server. What you're getting with LogicBot is an entire path. You're learning SQL, you're learning SQL Server, you're learning Power BI, and most important, you're getting the Power BI exam simulator. LogicBot has everything you need in order to get your first job as a data analyst. Now, you're going to need to know a lot about each, but it has what you're looking for. If you want to try to do one on your own, then go ahead. I'm telling you how to do that also. Head to YouTube and pick a SQL course and learn the content. Watching courses like a movie is not going to help. Technical interviews are stressful, and if you don't know what a primary key is or a clustered index is without thinking, you're going to get them wrong, and the company's going to move on to the next candidate. When I interview someone, I want to find the best possible candidate. If you don't know the basics about the most used data tool, SQL, then I'll just move on to the next candidate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.